In every gram of soil, there's about 10 million soil bacteria. From this, there's about four to 50,000 different species of these bacteria. And with all these bacteria in our soil, it brings the question, what are they actually doing? What's their role um, in our soil? How does this contribute to the functioning of our soil, building soil fertility? And how can us as farmers and gardeners utilize these soil bacteria to help us build our soil fertility and health? Well, that's exactly what we're looking at today in this video. We'll be looking at soil um, bacteria and how they contribute to uh, soil organic carbon, the fertility of our soil, and a lot more. My name is Till Simmons, and this is Agriculture Explained. Bacteria are another really important member of our soil ecology. Bacteria are fairly simple uh, and not overly that complex. They have a fairly simple, uh, I guess, cell structure. Uh, and fairly um, simple components within their cell. In terms of their role in the soil, they have a number of different uh, roles, but firstly, it's important to know that bacteria are quite, they can, they can range from really fragile um, organisms to really hardy organisms. So the range of which bacteria can survive or um, be resilient in our soil will depend on the bacteria themselves. Some bacteria um, will um, reduce the population size depending on the soil pH um, or if there's uh, a moisture or sunlight, whereas others can survive in really extreme um, conditions. So there's a range of different type of um, bacteria. The first one we'll talk about are decomposers. Now decomposing bacteria take place in the early stages of decomposing where there's quite low resistant um, organic matter. Now this includes uh, most of our uh, carbohydrates where, uh, and simple sugars, where it's quite easy for our bacteria to access and break down uh, these molecules. So this will contribute to the bacteria um, biomass so they can store uh, these nutrients in their own bodies and build up population size doing that. But also they build soil organic matter um, during the decomposition. The next group of soil bacteria are nitrogen fixers. Now we talked about this in the uh, nitrogen cycle video, but pretty much they convert uh, nitrogen in the atmosphere into nitrate, which is more accessible to our plants. So essentially, um, they team up with uh, legumes such as uh, clover and, um, and lucerne. To, um, so they live in their, uh, the roots of these plants, and they pretty much take nitrogen out of the atmosphere into the ground where the plants can use it. So they're a great, um, I guess, converter of nitrogen and can assist in plant growth. Next, they can be a disease suppressors, so they can either outcompete different pathogens or they can directly um, almost combat different uh, pathogens. Next, we have aerobe and anaerobe um, bacteria. Now, pretty much all that these ones are, these are bacteria that live uh, in the presence of oxygen, whereas these ones don't like oxygen. So when our um, soils become um, uh, they have lack of oxygen because of their compaction or they're waterlogged, these anaerobic um, bacteria can start to uh, release toxic compounds. And so this is not good for our plants, uh, it can really damage our plant growth. So we want to make sure we have lots of aerobic um, uh, bacteria so that we're not getting these toxic um, bacteria. And then we can do that by making sure we have nice uh, aerated soils. Um, they're not compacted, they've got um, lots of pore space in, uh, in between the uh, soil particles. Next we've got um, sulfur oxidizers. So sulfur as it is isn't overly accessible to plants. However, some bacteria can convert this uh, sulfur into uh, sulfate, which then can be absorbed by our plants for use. So all of these functions that our bacteria can do ultimately will um, help our plants to grow, access um, nutrients, build our soil, um, and increase the soil organic matter and hence soil organic carbon in our soils. So it's really important that we um, build our bacteria populations with our soil and we can do that firstly by supporting a healthy habitat for our bacteria to grow. So like I said at the beginning of the video, bacteria like uh, very specific, uh, well most bacteria require mo uh, very specific um, factors in their environment. So um, a steady pH, nice and um, moist soil, aerated, uh, not compact, lots of soil organic matter for them to live. We want all of that for them to thrive in our soil. Now, most of the bacteria will already be in our soil, 
but just in different um, population amounts. So adding extra bacteria to our soil won't overly help um, the population size, but most of the time, if we add a whole bunch of, um, say, decomposing bacteria, they will, most of them will die or the population will reduce in size if we're not addressing our soil health and the habitat that our bacteria live in. And so uh, we can do that by pretty much in improving our soil health, uh, addressing different uh, nutrient uh, requirements in our soil and uh, making sure that we have a nice habitat for our bacteria. And then from that, we get a flow-on effect from our plants. And so there's really no reason not to um, be supporting soil health. Next is that bacteria don't really like being attacked by UV light. Uh, so we want to make sure we have lots of ground cover to protect them. And then finally, we need um, organic matter for them to have lots of food and energy uh, and nutrients for them to grow. So there we have it. That is uh, the functions um, and roles of our bacteria in our soil. And this is how we can support them. Um, essentially, just providing them a nice uh, medium or habitat to live in. But most importantly, bacteria will decompose uh, early staged, um, I guess, uh, decomposable wood uh, or organic matter. And that's really important for building soil structure uh, and increasing our soil organic matter. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out some of our other videos. We've got lots on plant production, animal production. Uh, we've got a couple on regenerative agriculture. That's really important uh, to understand to improve our sustainability as farmers and to support more profitable farming. So check all that out. The best way to do that is subscribing and liking this video. Um, if you subscribe, you can keep updated with our uh, videos. Make sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, um, and YouTube. My name is Still Simmons and this is Agriculture Explained.